We're here at ITU Telecom World 2015 in Budapest, Hungary, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Mr. Fadi Shahadi, who's president and CEO of ICANN. ICANN is a not-for-profit public benefit corporation with participants from all over the world, dedicated to keeping the internet secure, stable, and interoperable. Is that a good definition? Very good definition, and uh, one that describes who we are in simple, uh, objective terms. Uh, well, welcome to the studio. Thank you. And welcome to ITU Telecom World. The, the theme of ITU Telecom World 2015 here this year is accelerating innovation for social impact. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, it's certainly something which uh, is very much on, on the, the top of uh, many people's agenda. Uh, how do you see ICT innovation directly impacting on socio-economic development uh, through your work at ICANN? There is no question that access to the network, as well as the richness of what's on the network now, changes lives and truly has social impact. It brings people together. It enables the flow of ideas, the flow of products. It allows those who were disconnected, even at the physical level, to be part of the greater, bigger world. So a small business is now a big business thanks to the access the internet provides. ICANN is committed to keep the layer that makes the internet one internet safe and resilient. Because without ICANN's work, the internet will fragment. And fragmentation will mean barriers. And barriers will not be good for the everyday user. Now, what measures can government and industry take to encourage the entrepreneurship uh, that is uh, very much key nowadays to uh, the ICT sector and also to uh, encourage and foster the growth of small and medium-sized enterprises, SMEs, uh, in this uh, very much uh, uh, buoyant industry. Access, making sure that access is available, uh, hopefully at affordable rate, so everyone can participate. Secondly, education. Education so people can very quickly figure out the tools they need and the reach they will have if they uh, connect their lives and their businesses onto the network. And at the same time, education to make sure that harm is not caused. So education is also for the opportunity, but also to reduce uh, the difficulties that people will face in uh, this brave new world we're entering. This is where private-public partnerships need to work to bring small businesses and individuals onto the network. And what's ICANN in particular doing? Uh, ICANN has huge educational uh, activities. We also have launched now an online platform called learn.ican.org, entirely free, where people can come and take classes and learn about how the internet uh, works, how it is governed. Uh, ICANN just launched in Egypt uh, an entrepreneurial center to help young entrepreneurs enter the ICT sector and participate in it. And frankly, uh, we work in conjunction with other organizations uh, like the ITU and others to find common projects where we can together enable the ICTs for uh, developing countries as well as young people and SMEs. Talking about collaboration, uh, how important is collaboration and uh, multi-stakeholder partnerships? What kind of role do they play in accelerating ICT innovation? To be candid with you, this is right now the single most important thing we need as a global community to figure out. Because beyond the work of ICANN, we are now entering major socioeconomic uh, frontiers that we don't know about before. We need public-private partnerships to understand how will we build a new digital order, an order that transcends the nation-state model, because the internet is indeed transnational, but an order that must respect the nation-state model. So how do we find that common ground that allows us to ensure that as the digital economy and the digital society continue to blossom unfettered, they also have the order and the rules that allow it to advance securely and safely for the benefit of everyone, not of the few. And what's the value for you of attending events like ITU Telecom World 2015? 
oh, it's, it's most valuable. We are here with many of the decision makers, with many of the innovators. They're all here. And uh, frankly, uh, not to be here uh, would be missing the square the town square of the digital world that we all live in. This is an important square, and I, uh, just in the last 24 hours, had a chance to meet uh, many people, some for the first time, many friends as well, who come to the, uh, the events, especially this particular event, the IT, ITU Worldcom, because it's a place where there's openness, everyone is welcome, governments, private sector, innovators, academics, technical people, and this multi-stakeholder spirit that the ITU adopted and is now living is frankly the spirit of the, of the new networked world we live in. So delighted to be here. Finally, I'd like to offer you your own uh, orange box to stand on here and, uh, <laughs> and convey your uh, message. What would be, would be your main message to participants here at ITU Telecom World and of course the wider audience watching uh, at home and, and in their offices through the internet? Unlearn what you know. Come and innovate. Innovate in everything. Innovate in your relationships, in your partnerships. Innovate in governance. Innovate in how we build regulations. So uh, we think often that innovation is limited to technology, but the internet enables new thinking that does not erase old thinking, but that evolves the way we do things at every level. And here, where we discuss policies and regulations and technologies and partnerships, we need to come with a new, fresh perspective, unlearn what we are used to, and not pave the cow path, but rather build new paths of cooperation. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.